would you want? What, what do you need? What would you like if there was uh, in this dream world? The best thing about our new home is a performance hall. And I think we owe it to Belmont to have a new rink. I'll pick up one to five balloons. And I found a space that I really thought would be ideal for my new store. I think it was about 5.20 p.m. We uh, responded to a shots fired call. Finland, Estonia, Poland, they all love disc golf. Of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> why not? Yeah, I mean, and, and why not Belmont? Yeah, I'm a big fan of libraries and communities. Uh, as a, My mother was a librarian. What prompted you now to take the next step, which was to run for the select board? So that's a question I've asked myself a lot. <laughs> anyway, the Belmont Bulletin, budget, 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 and more budget. Budget, yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Come up to the town clerk's office, you tell us what office you might be interested in, uh, you sign a paper, and off you go. So we did, we did have some accidents. Um, we definitely had some cars off the road. Dumping chocolate milk and, uh, you know, composting pizza crusts and taking compost out of trash and getting down and dirty. Special town meeting, it's solely focused on whether Belmont moves from and elected to an appointed town treasurer. So we now have a, a state-of-the-art facility uh, that is phenomenal when you look through here. The second annual Belmont Pan-Asian Coalition. How harmful is vaping? So, Mike, the, the studies that have come out... Off the clock, the art teachers of Belmont. It's uh, nine art teachers from the Belmont Public Schools. Share with us their antiques and their treasures that they found in their you know, closets, attics, basements, mother's houses. Discernible. D-I-S-C-E-R-N-I-B-L-E. Villa up with a three-pointer. It doesn't go, and Arlington wins the ball game by two. Doing something about the prison system in this country and being involved in in humanizing um, people in prison. A little free library type box that we have installed in the Woodland Garden at the Belmont Public Library. On February 15th, we have our Pink the Rink game. Where we're raising money for breast cancer awareness. And guide you to walk through our hallway into our dispensary floor. Yeah. And so that's a spillover event. That's a virus that is normally circulating in one circumstance now being introduced in a new circumstance. Officer Marco D'Andrea of the Belmont Police Department received the life-saving award. But can you talk about the importance of having a diverse faculty for our students? Yeah, definitely. You know, the students are at the core of everything we do. And of course, I was terrified and scared for my family because uh, Every city was bombed, my city, Lutsk included. Putting money into this rink is just, you know, it makes no sense. Oh! And the buzzer sounds, Woburn with a two to one comeback victory over the Marauders. A disappointing result for the Marauders in their final regular season game. People are sitting at tables at restaurants and everybody's on their phones, you know, playing with their phones. Uh, do you see that as a problem uh, that is changing the way we interact? Or do you think this is just something that is, uh, looks worse than it actually is? I, I do think it can be problematic when, you know, I even notice in public transportation. Yes. Nobody's looking up. There's four seconds left, and Belmont's going to get out of this game 4 nothing. Nice win by Belmont. And, of course, I would think the price has not gone up, I'm assuming. The price has gone down by about $4 million. Hey. He in the top, long rebound by Central Catholic. Game over. One of the reasons why I love working in you know parks and recreation is we get to be really creative. That's going to end not only Belmont season, but that's the loss of the state champions from a few years ago. You're probably wondering, 
why the rank is back on the ballot this April. The Belmont Hill School parking lot, maybe that's a saga that's coming to an end? Yes, it sounds like it is. Hello everybody, welcome back to Fishbowl 256, our Asian American Club show. Mean Girls is a musical based off of the popular movie from 2004. Understand that I'm always going to be prepared to listen and I'm willing to be convinced that we should see things differently. To level the playing field, I believe it's actually really important to bring the bottom up as opposed to capping the top. We work really hard to um, come up with sensible initiatives that make sense for existing businesses, create the possibility for attracting new businesses. Instead of using the old-fashioned paper books, uh, with people making check marks for voters that have cast their ballots, there will be an electronic poll book. Well, what do I love doing? What do I want to do? And I said, well, I just love growing vegetables. Recently, the Belmont Fire Department placed in service new Scott ear packs. If you go into the town hall from the bottom floor, the, the windows on the right-hand side, the bigger, the bigger windows were where the fire apparatus was kept. Well, I teach students from 30 different countries, from Colombia to the Democratic Republic of the Congo to Cambodia. We are seeing concerning numbers with regard to teen boys, Mike, but not nearly as high as with regard to teen girls. Many chalets, there's the main chalet, and then each artist has his or her own chalet. And you think, okay, a chalet is a chalet is a chalet. So I both recruit new volunteers. We're always looking for volunteers here. And I help to manage those who are already here. Lastly, I want to remind you of my three rules when I first became select board chair in 2018. One, no drama. Two, be respectful of each other. Three, don't waste anyone's time. We have a new school superintendent who has been named. What can you tell us? Yes, uh, her name is Dr. Uh, Jill uh, Geyser. You are what that means in life. What you gonna do when the world's on up? The best part about these classrooms by far is all of the natural light. I mean, it's bright in here. My message to the community is that it's okay to disagree with one another, right? Um, that's democracy. You and I disagree at times. We're close friends. Um, but we have to be respectful. The school department just this week sent out information on the Youth Risk Behavior Survey. So question one, which is the debt exclusion for the rink. Yes, 3904 with 60.71% of the vote. What do you think changed between uh, November and now? Well, I think one piece of it was several days after the vote that the rink failed and couldn't open. Where are we on COVID? Looking really good right now. My name is Sam Deans, and I'm from the town of Parts Unknown. You, you feel like nature is, un, is unleashed, and it really got me thinking when I got back about what the entire planet could be like. On um, the Belmont Hill School parking project. So uh, are the foxes happy or sad? Uh, the foxes are going to have to leave. Uh, Corinna, how did you get started doing jewelry? Um, I went to school for jewelry and metalsmithing. Our parents are originally from Tibet. There were nomads from Tibet. After having hit and dragged, Mr. Tapia, the defendant, fled, ultimately came back and turned himself into the police. The company Gannett that owns all the local papers has stopped covering local issues and instead they have what they call regional coverage. We want to share the importance of native gardens, including incre increasing the biodiversity of our local ecosystems, purifying air and water, and really just beautify the Belmont Middle High School campus. Well, I think running is a good activity to introduce into uh, API celebration. And this is the Knights of Columbus and they're gonna take possession of this and they're gonna use this for their clubhouse, apparently. And they, um, they're working to do that. My versatility was something that kept me in the big leagues. And I've always said that if you can play center field and shortstop, then you can play anywhere. Um, but what we're hearing about in the news, Mike, is illicitly made fentanyl. Uh, we also instituted uh, Belmont uh, National Purple Hot Day. Tell me about your history of making bread. Have you done it before? No. So basically the story is during COVID, I started baking bread. I'd like to introduce everyone to the Belmont Fire Department's forcible entry door prop. I think one of the accomplishments of my work here is just kind of recognizing what the big 
problem was right away, which was budget, staffing, and space. Between 2005 and 2020, more than one-fourth of the country's newspapers disappeared. I started getting interested because I was like, well, further upstream sounds like you can have more influence, learn more, which is one thing I wanted to do, but also have more influence and help help the town navigate some of these challenges. A lot of people who say radio's dead, you know, video killed the radio star or whatever, but 80 to 85 percent of America still listens to the radio at least one time a week. Humanity is only maybe seen one percent of our seafloor, so there's so much left down there to discover. It's the flag that's at half staff until sunset this evening. And Belmont winning. The first home playoff game, and again, a long time, long in my memory. This is just the perfect event after a crazy week in, in Washington. I cannot tell you. Um, to be here with all of you who really understand what it means to be a community. At this time, could the class of 2023 please stand? Yeah. That is it. Your Belmont Marauders have won the state semifinal. Want to tell us about some of your products here? Sure. So these are heli bites and they are made of uh, date base. They are date based, but they have superfoods in them. Belmont girls now with a strong win. Very, very strong second half of play. Super. Yeah, they'll, they'll go to the state finals in two weeks. Rachel and Roy are co chairs of the MBTA Communities Advisory Committee. And he asked to see the great Albert Einstein. <laughs> I was pointed out, and he looked at me and said, there's Albert Einstein. And then the playground will be open for business, all right? So is that all my scissors, all my cutters ready? On the count of three. One, two, three. Woo! It's kicked through. It's kicked through. Wyatt just has to kick it away. And he does. And there's the final whistle. Belmont holding off yet one last St. John's attack and walking away with a state championship. All right, we're here with Uday at Giant Gorilla Greens. Um, wow, it's really warm out here. And there it is, that's that the is whistle. the final whistle. And our Belmont Marauders are the state champions. In, two, in 2023. Ms. Shepard, who's owned, this, who's owned uh, Winter's Hardware for 26 years, she bought it from the original family. It's 99 years in business. And we hope you enjoy the show and this joyous celebration of freedom. Thank you. We're predominantly a uh, residential community. That's where we get our tax base. So any, any additional economic development will help the town. The category again is blockbuster movies, and the final Jeopardy answer is... Does that mean that nothing's been decided yet? It hasn't been officially decided, but it's pretty close. And I'm so curious how you cultivate this wonderful collection. Well, thank you for coming, Amy, and, and having this interview. There were concerns about noise and how are we going to mitigate that and how are we going to provide actual quiet spaces. One thing I observed, this beehive, there are a lot of bees over here. And all of this short chocolate comes snapping out. <laughs> Standing at the beautiful Underwood pool, currently in our preseason preparation for summer phase. The Stop the Bleed program is designed to teach people of any age with little to no medical training on how to identify and stop life-threatening bleeding. How could you not want to get on board with making our town more welcoming for all individuals in town? Okay, so watch out bicyclists. That's right, there are, there are a number of bicyclists who um, are uh, concerned about that. Uh, you have this beautiful window wall that walks out to a terrace, which is right next to Claybrook Pond. So tell us a little bit about what you have out here today. Absolutely, so we brought our cheese. It's kind of like if somebody took the, the roof off your house and put a giant spoon in and stirred all your stuff up every year. That's essentially what tillage does to the soil. Go Yoga is teaching a class, a yoga class. This is about doing some yoga-like movements, a little breathing with baby goats. You know, we could be playing some really fast bebop line, all harmonized, and he'd stop and be like, trombone three, you missed the B flat on the end of two. So what is the drive? 
So we started the drive last Thursday and we're continuing until August 16th. And we're collecting goods such as toothpaste, deodorant, toothbrushes. The facility itself is second to none. It's done a great job for the, all the athletics. In our own Milky Way, uh, that, you know, roughly one of, of every five stars, like the sun, has a planet a little bit like the Earth. I want to talk about another injury that is very insidious and no one will ever receive a Purple Heart for. It is post-traumatic stress syndrome. Who are the community leaders, the town leaders, department leaders, um, the staff members, the teachers, um, professional aides, custodians, all the staff in the school, and uh, making sure that, I, that I'm getting out to as many people as I possibly can. We really wanted to be in Belmont for quite some time, and um, it took the time to find the right site. I was afraid to love somebody new. Three, two, one. And that is the end of the game. And this is Coach Mack's 200th career win with the Belmont Field Hockey team. And we've uh, created something nice with the car club. And so this is kind of what we do. We, we, we get some people together to get away from their everyday chaotic lifestyles and have a little fun. We are here at Town Day at the dunk tank with Representative Dave Rogers. We have a date for the demolition of the field house. The Belmont boys will be happy to have their name engraved on that cup with a win. It's kept in the high school now in the trophy case. And in just a short time, they will lift the Phoenix Cup. One, two, three. Here we go. Before the smoke chokes them. Something doesn't look safe about that. Can we even see the players? I can't count the number of emails I got from all over town about leaf blowers. Of making Belmont one of 10 experimental places around the Commonwealth to have um, this automated traffic enforcement. But just a small portion of the total number of solar panels going up on the roof of the new Belmont Mill and High School. A tremendous victory here tonight at Harris Field, beating the Woburn Tanners to move into first place in the Middlesex League's Liberty Division. Do you see this as being kind of the flagship uh, location for your company right now? Uh, most certainly is. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's the, uh, the yeah, first of uh, the dine-in restaurants. Winter is almost upon us, and so let's really talk about winter safety. Snap. Arno rolls out. Brian Logan wide open. Touchdown. And it is a touchdown, Marauders to take the lead late in the game. But isn't it true that we're likely to see all of Monday evening uh, consumed by debate about uh, uh, removing the Belmont Police Department from civil service? Well, wonderful. So we'll segue into a gift of life. And since it's approximately two minutes, we'll simply listen to the entire piece. Mm -hmm. On today's win versus Medford. And Belmont goes to Mustangs. take their goalkeeper. Looks like the Marauders best the Mustangs. On to the next one. They move on to round two of the playoffs. We wanted to take a look at the various challenges to opening and then maintaining a business in Belmont. That's right. We no longer have restaurants and cafes and eateries. We have food service establishments. A week from tomorrow, the 22nd of November, will be the final day of service in our present building. Uh, this weekend on Saturday, we're going to have a celebration of services, kind of a farewell to the building. Uh, a little bit of clove and and uh, dried brown ginger, a little bit of fresh ginger as well. This is the Thanksgiving pregame show, and today I'm here with the Belmont High School football team captains and their coach. Yeah, we all come from different walks of life. And we might have um, different mindsets, uh, of, uh, obviously different styles of art. Hey, good evening, Belmont! Merry Christmas! Oh. <laughs> Belmont Marauder football team, they, were, they actually won 
uh, the middle uh, their Middlesex League uh, division, and that's the first time in 59 years that they won a title in the Middlesex League. That's to minimize the size of the override, but you're still going to need a $7 million override just to keep the lights on. What are you going to be most fondly looking uh, back on? I'll, I'll probably miss the kids. Thank you. I'm so grateful and honored to have this award. It really, it's a gift from God because you you don't work for those awards. You work with your heart. Good. This is really so, cool. So yeah, tell me what it is you that speaks to you about this piece. It's just like fun. Thank you. <laughs> That's the idea. And what I like to think about this time of year as a journalist is the importance actually of uh, freedom of speech and of a free press. Mm -hmm.